Hi students, it's your art teacher, Ms. Barnett, and today we're going to be experimenting with a brand new medium. We're going to be using watercolors. So watercolors are paints that artists used to use um, to paint when they were out and about, because guess what? They're super easy just to take with you. Unlike the tempera paint that we've been using, where you have to have like big bottles and lots of water and it's like a big setup, this is super easy to take with you anywhere. So artists used to use these when we were out and about and sketching with pencils and we wanted to capture the color, they would use some watercolors. So today what you're going to need is a water cup and a brush. I filled my water cup about halfway full. You don't need a lot of water. You're going to need a set of watercolors. Parents, I took a piece of tape and I taped over the, um, I'm sorry, I taped over the black paint here because I don't want students to use that yet because it's super powerful. So go ahead and take a little piece of tape and tape over your black for your student. Um, the paper that we're going to use today, I've cut this paper down. This is four inches by six inches. Um, the other thing that works really well are index cards. So if you don't have paper at home, go out and get you some uh, bigger index cards. I just have smaller ones in my desk, but they work great. They're nice and thick. If you don't even have the big ones, you can use the small ones too, no problem. You're also going to want a sponge, a slightly wet sponge or damp sponge to wet our paper really quickly. And I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. So if when you get all your materials together, come back to the video and we'll get started. All right, families at home, I have my setup here. You might want to, if you're working at home, put newspaper down under your paper um, just to keep it a little bit neater. I've also come along and I've taped down part of my paper to the surface that I'm painting on. Next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use my art sponge here. You can use any sponge. If it's a kitchen sponge, you wanna use a clean sponge and I would cut it into like 25% or a quarter. So I'm just going to wet my sponge. You want to do this with clean water so there my sponge is wet I'm gonna come along and I'm going to go over my paper until it's shiny there that's good nice and shiny then I'm going to take my brush swish swish wipe off the extra water and then I'm going to tickle my paint with my brush so I'm going to tickle him just like that. And then I'm going to hold my brush so he's dancing like a ballerina because watercolor brushes like to dance on their tippy toes. And we're just gonna try making dots. So just press and lift. Let's make 10 dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Good job. Let's take our brush, swish, swish, wipe, get off the excess. Let's pick another color. We did green last. Let's do orange. Tickle our brush. I mean, I'm sorry, tickle our paint. Tickle, 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 tickle. And let's dot. Let them dance like a ballerina. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's keep going. Swish, swish, wipe. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Let's make some dots. One, two, three, Let's keep going. I'm going to speed up my tape so you can watch me work. All right, friends, I filled up my first paper with 10 dots across of one, two, three, four, five colors. Let's see, we did green, orange, blue, pink, or I'm sorry, purple, and yellow. So very carefully, we want to be super duper careful because our paper is very wet and we don't want it to rip it. And we're going to put that experiment to the side and we're going to get another piece of paper. We're going to place that down. We're going to tape them down just like we did the first time. And again, we're going to use our damp sponge and wet the, oops, that's why we got to be careful. And we're going to wet the paper until it's shiny. Good. We're shiny, we're ready to go. Let's try doing some dabs. So I swish, swish, wipe my brush. Let's get some red this time. Tickle my paint, and we're gonna dab it. Good, 
Swish Swish Wipe. Let's do some blue. Swish Swish Wipe. Purple. Swish Swish Wipe. Tickle Tickle Tickle. Some swish just wipe. So you've done red, blue, purple, and green. Let's do some yellow. Tickle, tickle, tickle my paint. Good. How about some orange? Good job. Let's take that experiment. Let's put it to the side. And we'll do one more final experiment. Here's our paint. I mean our paper our tape, use our wet sponge until our paper is shiny. Good. Let's do some lines this time, guys. Swish, swish, wipe my brush, pick a color. Let's experiment with lines. Just make whatever kind of lines you want. When you're ready, switch your color. Swish, swish, wipe. So pretty. Oh, how fun. So guys, I hope you had lots of fun with your experiments today. Take your time. If you want to cut some more paper and do some more experiments, go for it. The only limitation is your imagination. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye, friends.